Hi, I'm Shavas and you're watching my channel C Learner. This is my first video in the series of videos which I'm making to just give a hands-on overview of language Rex. So Rex is not, nothing but restructured executor. It is a scripting language actually and it is developed by Mike Colisha at IBM in the year 1979. So you might be thinking, so what's so special about Rex? So why should I learn Rex? So is there anything that it does out of the box? So first thing that I want to say is you need not to worry about the declaration and the syntax is pretty easy to memorize and you can get master it within no time. So for example, I have taken a sample program from Cobol. You can see we had to uh, how, how it's specified at the working storage section and it's like at a part of program you need to define it and you have a lot of uh, conditions how you define a particular variable whether it is a string or number and you have to make sure whether it is a binary or comp3 comp2 but in Rex see how easy it is you just take a string value or you just give some variable name string one and just assign some string and similarly for the numbers whether it is a decimal or uh, negative or positive it is quite simple here to deal with the numbers or strings and there is no the like section like working storage section where you need to define all this you can define it anywhere in your code where you find it it needs to be used so you might know about this hide and seek champion semicolon so does Rex have this semicolon to just end a particular statement? Yeah, it have, but the good news is it's optional. So you won't get this error like missing semicolon in your code. Does it run in every operating system? So you might have come across the mainframe itself. You might have come across some programs running on mainframe, but it can run on Windows platform in Linux and as well as in Mac. So there are different uh, versions available uh, of Rex, which is called Regina, which are present for Windows, Linux and Mac system. So we'll get to know about this as we go on. No need to compile. So what's that? So you, if you take a COBOL program, so what we used to do is we used to compile the code, we'll get some load module, then we will execute our bad job and we'll see the output. So it's like a lot of steps that you need to follow sequentially to just see the outcome of that written program. But in Rex, you just take your program and execute it and you will have the output. So it's quite simple. There is a way actually to compile Rex as well that is an optional way but the there are two options actually available in Rex. Uh, whether you can run it you, you can compile the code and use it as a load module or you can just uh, run the program standalone like uh, interpretive yeah another big thing why i am stressing about this Rex program is automation so in my uh, with my experience in the mainframes i have done quite of automations using rex and believe me it made my life very easier so if your organization feels time is money then this rex particular this rex can able to extract the information or do some stuff with very less time and with very less time to code as well the requirement Now again I am thinking, so how do I learn Rex? So is there any way that I can learn it at home? Because uh, we used to come across the Rex, the one which is present in the mainframe. So most probably uh, the organizations won't give the access to mainframe at home. So how do I practice it? No need to worry, you can practice it. So how? So what are the software that you need to get started? So first is there is a interpreter called Regina, which I told you is available for different flavors of operating system. Take it Windows, Unix, 
or Mac. So you can have any of the operating system. You just need to download the respect to Regina Rex interpreter. And we have a editor called Visual Studio Code, which is a very good editor uh, in terms of uh, writing of a code in a syntax highlight with syntax highlighting, and you can easily identify what's the error there. So these two are the softwares that you need. So in my next video, I will show you how to install these two softwares. So that's it guys from this video. Thanks for watching. If you do like my video, do hit that like button and even subscribe to my channel to get updated with the latest videos on Rex. And do share with your friends as if you like this series of videos. So thank you. See you in my next video. Bye bye.